Hey guys, Pigs here, and welcome back to my series on rare and collectible PS3 games. This is part five. Um, you guys might notice this episode looks a little bit different to the last. I've got a second camera. Um, yeah, so I've got a dual cam now. This is on all my streams on Twitch, Facebook, and DLive. Two cameras at all times, so it's pretty cool, guys. Um, I really let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, getting on with the episode, guys. Um, I've actually just recorded this and realised the sound didn't work. It was about 12 minutes, so let's see if we can smash this out even better than last half. First game we have is Bloodbath. This was an Italian and Spanish exclusive game. Um, it is a fighting game with a lot of gore. I've never actually played it because my copy is sealed. Uh, it's quite difficult to find, and copies online are going for $40 plus dollars. Um, so if you know someone in Italy or Spain, definitely try and get in contact with them to try and find this. Otherwise, good luck getting it. Next we have Blood Drive. Uh, this is another European exclusive game. Um, it's vehicles with guns, sort of like a twisted metal type game. I never like actually played it, but it looks pretty cool. Um, you get a copy for under $20, but I did find it quite difficult to pick up. The Blood Drive. Definitely pick it up. Next game we have is Blur. So this is like a Need for Speed cross with Mario Kart type game. Need for Speed type graphics and you get power ups and really fun to play with friends. You can get a copy under ten dollars quite easily, but copies are becoming harder to find. So if you see Blur, pick it up. And next we have Bolt. So Bolt's a kids game, uh, it's based off the movie of the same name, um, being a kids game it's quite difficult to find in good condition complete, uh, a lot of these games I will show you today guys and in my collection in the next upcoming videos, kids games, kids games on the PS3 um, are quite hard to find in good condition complete because they didn't look after their games, um, so if you can see Bolt go, definitely pick Um, so there was three, or there's actually a bunch of Borderland games released for the PS3, but I recommend picking this one up. This is the triple pack. It includes Borderlands 1, 2, and the pre-sequel with all the DLC for all three games. It actually comes in this really cool double pack too. Um, so if you can see the triple, double disc, I should say. If you can see the triple pack, guys, definitely pick it up, but. Buy oh, this one for under twenty dollars. Next, we have the Born Conspiracy: The Collector's Edition. So the Collector's Edition includes the Born Ultimatum DVD. Um, you can find this for under twenty dollars. If you find it, guys, definitely make sure it's got the DVD as well. Um. Yeah, I, there's a few bunch of games that had movie tie-ins. Um, I definitely recommend picking all those up. I will be putting all of them in the upcoming videos. Get this one for under 20. Definitely try. Next we have Brave. It's another kids game, as well as a movie tie-in of the same name. Um, you can find this under fifteen dollars, though I never see it in the wild. Uh, I see it on eBay pretty cheap, so if you see this guys definitely pick it up. I reckon it'll become harder to find. Um, so there was about 12 Cabela games I believe released for the PS3. Um, look, I recommend picking them all up for a very good price, if you can find them. The one that I will recommend trying to find is the one I found really fun, Cabela Survival. Uh, it's a little bit different to the other Cabela games, it's a survival game. Get lost in the wild, you've got to survive by hunting things. I mean, it's a really fun game, so you can find this under 15, definitely pick it up, guys. As well as all the other Cabela games, I'm not going to go through them all because there's a bunch of them. You can find them for a good price, I recommend picking them up. They look great together and they're a fun set. <clears throat> Next, we've got Captain America. Um, so, this is actually quite difficult to find. Copies are going for $30 plus online. Uh, so if you can find Captain America in the wild, I definitely recommend picking it up. It's a Marvel game, so it is quite collectible to 
not just PlayStation collectors, but Marvel collectors. As well. And yeah, so Captain America goes. Um, so the next set of games I'm going to talk about are the Cars games. Uh, so there were four Cars games released to the PS3. Um, again, it's tying games. They're all quite difficult to find in good condition complete. You find copies are going, um, depending on the game, for 20 to almost $40 on eBay. Um, so we've got Cars 2. We've got Cars Made National. Got Cars Rosso Rama. And we've got Cars 3, which is actually a I believe 2007 release on the PS3, which is quite late. Uh, this will become the hardest one to find in the future, being a late release game. Uh, yeah, so you can find the Cars games, guys. I definitely recommend picking those up as well. Um, next we've got the Castlevania Collection. So this includes Castlevania Lords of Shadow 1 with all the DLC as well as a demo for number 2. Uh, this is quite cheap online. You can find it in the wild too, but it's not too common. You can get this under $20, I'd recommend picking it up. The following game I want to talk about is Castlevania 2, Lords of Shadow 2. This is a little bit harder to find, the second one. I'm not sure if it had a PAL release, at least it didn't in Australia, or I haven't seen it. I got a copy in America when I was over there. Quite a fun game. It's the Devil May Cry type game. Yeah, I had really fun playing this one. As in, you can find it, definitely pick it up. Next game we're going to talk about is Catherine. Uh, so Catherine's an Atlas title. It's a platforming game, which also includes a real life side to it where you've got a couple of girlfriends named Catherine being on one. Yeah, it's a really fun game. You've got to you have these dreams and you have puzzles and uh, it's actually quite expensive today. It's a thirty to forty dollar game. So if you can find this for a good price I definitely recommend it. Being an Atlas title will it did have a lower print run than most games. Harder to find. Just wanted to show the alternate European cover. This was reversible, but this is the other cat. Two different girls. Yeah, so that's Catherine, guys. Um, find them. I definitely recommend picking Catherine up. Even just over twenty dollars, Catherine's still a game that I would pick up. Um, I haven't looked into the price recently because I obviously own it. Um, good luck, and let me know if you guys have got Catherine below. Next game I want to talk about is Civilization Revolution. Now, so this is a very early release PS3 game, cheap online, very cheap, uh, copies in the wild aren't too common, you should be able to find one under $10. This is actually one of my favourite PS3 games, played in like 5 or 6 hours and finish it. Um, with Civilization 6 coming to PS4, you guys might be curious on how one would play on console, so I recommend checking this one out and giving it a play guys. Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution. Next game we're going to talk about today is quite a rare game. This is Class of Heroes 2G. The Monkey Paw title. Uh, this was variant D, which is the most common variant. So when this game was released, there was three variants over a couple of years, and there was only 2,750 copies. Um, copies were selling for three to four hundred dollars, and the publisher decided to reprint a copy, which is variant D. And on the spine, hard to see. I'm gonna focus it in. I don't think I can. In the bottom of the spine, it has a D. Uh, that's how I can tell this is variant D. So when you're looking for a copy, make sure you look for A, B, C, or D. You can get a variant D copy today for just over a hundred dollars. Uh, a, B, and C go for a little bit. This is like a 2D dungeon crawling game. It's actually really fun. It was released on PSP as well, but this copy is one of the rarest PS3 games. Definitely recommend trying to find this if you're a PS3 collector. Next we've got Cloudy with a chance to meet. Another kids game. Um, like all kids movie games, not easy to find. Didn't have an Australian release, so I had quite a hard time finding this. 
I managed to get a copy in the wild eventually, about eighteen dollars. Um, yeah, so if you see Cloudy of a Chance of Meatballs, guys, I definitely recommend picking it up. And the last game we're going to talk about today is Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. Yeah, Johnny Bravo on the front. I love it. Um, I had quite difficulty finding this. I got a copy about a year ago for a good price. Never seen one in the wild in good condition. I've seen them damaged before. So if you see this in good condition, guys, complete. I definitely recommend picking up. Um, so that concludes us with episode 5 of Rare and Collectible PS3 games. Um, I'm recording this a week before I'm putting it out, so hopefully I'll have another one recorded by the time I've got this next one out. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have all these games or um, been enjoying the last previous videos. If you've picked anything up, I'd love to hear about your experiences. You guys can follow me on Twitter, or I'm on Facebook, uh, Instagram. If you guys want to check out more collectors, I recommend the PlayStation 3 collectors group on Facebook. I'll leave a link in the description below. Yeah, I'd love to hit that if you guys could hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. Well, subscribing if you haven't, uh, sort of new to YouTube, so this is fun for me. Um, I'm on Twitch every day, guys. So if you have a Twitch account, check me out. It's FigsAF. I've been streaming for almost a year now. But I plan on continuing these YouTube videos every week, starting with this Rare and Collectible PS3 series. And yeah, so that's episode 5, guys, and I will see you guys next week for episode 6. Happy collecting.